This is week 103 on HRT. Um, this week, um, everything is still going the same. My breasts, though, are still hurting on and off like usual. They're not done growing. Which is, I'm glad they're not done growing because that means they're going to get to where I need them. So, um, yeah. So that's good. Um, other than that, I haven't really noticed any other changes. My own sperm is still where it was before, but a little. The liquid is a little bit lower, though. It's a little bit lower. Um, let's see here. I noticed just my leg hair is still decreasing a little. Other than that, its physical changes are still going good. Um, my ears, since I got them pierced, they've been healing up good. It's just, it's just been a little, like usual, when you get your ears pressed, how they're crusty from the plasma. It's just mostly like that. But I noticed if they do get bumped a little hard, or just get bumped, it does hurt, but if they don't get messed with, it doesn't hurt at all. So I can't wait until they're fully healed and I can wear different earrings and what's in there. So, yeah, that's what they're looking like. So other than that, everything's still going how I want it to. And I know it's going to take at least the all the way until November 20, yeah, November 20th next year to get my breasts finished growing to whatever, hopefully a large C as close to a D as possible without being a D so hopefully they can get large to a large instead because right now they're going from small to medium right now. From small C to medium C. As they're staying 37 inches. So that's really, really, really good. And the bra I'm wearing now. It is um, a new one I brought, bought. And it's pad, little padded in it. And this is what they do look like. They um, have a little padding in it, like down here, so that's what they look like, with that little bit of padding built into it, so it's comfortable, I like it, got that hot topic, yeah, whatever about that, and my mental health still where it's been last time I mentioned it my it's basically it's the my genital area having it where it's at I noticed there was a few times when I just went to the bathroom to pee just peeing cause like just feeling it come out of where it's not supposed to how I feel and how my body's telling me where it should because so I can feel it coming out of the wrong spot and everything that's a it really made me dysphoric one day and like yesterday morning I got dysphoric because of just things like my genital area and I didn't have I ran on my finasteride until I was able to get it filled last night so that really kind of affected 
it a little bit, but I didn't have that much with it. All I know is the further I do transition and don't get the surgery, any kind of thing like sexually about like male sexuality, anything to do with a penis, any kind of sexual thing with a penis, or having to just go to the bathroom using it makes me dysphoric at times. And I know getting the surgery will help with that when I'm able to get that one day. Because that's what's been happening this last week. Yeah, since I've been paying attention more to myself and noticing. And yes, uh, when I do get to work, I tend to cry. And I don't like it, but it's okay to cry every now and then, so. And yeah, there was a few times. And it was like one time, I think it was last week, I woke up and then I just felt really off because it was when, when the, yeah, th it was like three days I didn't take my finish break because I ran out. That was not good because I woke up and I just got really emotional and everything. Because I need that to help block the testosterone and everything. Because I, I know. If it's not blocked, I can feel it because my prostate does enlarge if it's not blocked and I can feel that and it doesn't feel good and other things, testosterone related when there's too much, it does not feel good. And I feel a lot better now since I took it last night and this morning with my finished ride. So other than that, I'm doing good. So I suggest do not miss any doses on any of your medications, girls out there. It's not good. Well, until next time, comment, rate, and subscribe. And click the link down there to view my blog. If you haven't, I posted a new one a few days ago. Click down there my newest post on my blog.